Hello. Hi. 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 So um, we can meet on Zoom for all the lessons if you want. Just when you book your lesson, click that you want it on Zoom, and then um, it'll give you my link. Sure. Thank you very much. Cool. <clears throat> so what is your name? Um, my name is Shyam. Sham, it's nice to meet you. My name is Danielle. Nice to meet you too. And where are you from? Um, I'm from India. India? So uh, your first language is Hindi? Yeah, sure. That is my All right. Language. I'm going to put that in my notes. All right. That's su super cool. Do you like living in India? Oh, I have lived in India for forever. <laughs> but yeah. Not basically from India. It's Per se, I'm from Nepal. Oh, okay. Yeah, my parents. But you are lived in. Nepal. My parents are from Nepal. They moved into India, and and I was born in India. So, so I'm technically an Indian. <clears throat> wow. Do you like India? I guess so. I've never been to Nepal. Not. Yeah. I was, uh, I was really young, like four or five years old. And I have been, I have been, I have been to Nepal for only two times, so I don't remember how how does it look like now. Oh yeah, but you do you want to go there and, and see what it's like as an adult? Yeah, sure. My father uh, went to Nepal last year, and he told me about something that there has been a lot of change recently, and I would love to see that. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yes. And how about you? I, Where are you from? So I'm originally from Buffalo, New York, uh, but I live in Orlando, Florida. I'm actually in Buffalo, New York right now, visiting my family for Christmas and New Year's. Um, but uh, but I live in Orlando, so it's nice and warm. <laughs> I like living in Orlando. It's it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, but tell me about your hobbies and interests. Uh, um, I have a really keen interest in music. Yeah. Oh, you're interested in music? Yeah. I have been studying music for a while, just as a hobby, just to give, just to know more about music. Yeah, yeah. I love music. I'm that's my hobby too. Do you play guitar or something? I sing. I'm a singer in a rock band. Um, and I also do a little bit of DJing. I just started that though. Oh, really? You can sing? Um, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, what do you play guitar? Uh, no. No. What do you do? Uh, like, you know, software, how to make music on the software. I was learning some softwares, basically. How to so you uh, make like electronic music, how to arrange vocals and music together. Yeah. Com composition, something beginner music and, composition, you know, beginner level at a beginner level. That's really cool. I've been trying to get into that as well. What do you use? I use Logic Pro. Well, Logic Pro, um, uh, I don't have Logic Pro, but as a beginner, I, I've been using GarageBand. Oh, cool. Yeah. So That's what, great. Do you, what do you prefer? What do I prefer, like GarageBand or Logic Pro? Yeah. Have so you... far, I really like Logic Pro. OK. But I, I'm a beginner too, so I just started. Mm, okay. So is it hard that, that Logic Pro? Um, you know, it it was at first, but Logic Pro is really user friendly. It's made by Apple, and I feel like Apple is really good at making things user friendly. Mm -hmm. um, and so it hasn't been too difficult. Okay, I would like I would like to try that. I have I didn't try Logic Pro. Yeah. Yet. And are there any other softwares like this Logic Pro? Um, I've tried Fruity Loops as well, FL Studio, um, but I didn't like that one so much. I've heard Ableton is great. I see. Uh, and you know, it's been a really long time since I talked to any native speaker. Oh yeah, it's been a while. It's, it sure well, has. Well, you're doing great so far. Yeah, uh, it, for me, uh, I have been learning English for a year now. I mean, specifically for speaking. Yeah. And I was, I was a student before on I talk you for two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. on on June and July, mm -hmm. for two months only, and then I quit. I mean, I mean from I talk mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> I joined italki to improve even more further to talk to native speakers because I, I, I had been talking to uh, my friends uh, overseas from my uh, not the not the native speaker but but people like me who wants to learn who wants to improve their English mm -hmm. so, yeah we cool. would hold conversation on weekends yeah like that but since, oh yeah that's a great way to learn yeah but very cool recently i thought uh i'm losing it again <laughs> i gotta speak again more yeah so you want to practice speaking more are you trying to just are you looking for just a conversation partner or do you want someone who is also going to teach you grammar just conversation because mm -hmm. i have i was on grammar very much before but not now and that made me stuck for a while that grammar thing it was hard <clears throat> at first i never tried to learn grammar i uh, i just used to uh, understand the grammar concept rules and i just keep it over it's like i first learn then i try to forget yeah because uh, because if grammar comes to me when i'm speaking then i then i don't think i can speak yeah, I uh, see. So it, it ends up kind of confusing you. Yeah, it will always yeah. tell me that it is wrong, it is right. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and I won't ever speak. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I offer conversational English lessons, which sound like they are perfect for you because I have two different types. So if you decide to continue with me, um, you'll want to select the conversational English lessons. Okay. And how do cool. you find my English so far? I think your English is really good. I mean, you're holding a you're holding a conversation really well. Um, I haven't noticed any grammatical issues, and so I, I think your English is really good so and, far. And and what about my accent? Because I I certainly don't speak like Indian. So yeah, what does it sound like? your accent um i am not sure i wouldn't be able to identify where it's from now that i know it, that you're from nepal i would guess that it's a oh, accent from uh, not from nepal i have lived but, in india yeah uh, but your family's from nepal yeah and so your accent probably comes from your parents no no don't they don't speak english at all <laughs> i mean uh, i haven't really been taught by an indian teacher here uh, I started learning English by myself. Uh, and for the, for the starting, I try to just you know improve my listening and comprehension. Mm -hmm. Then later I jumped into you know speaking. So mm -hmm. uh, most of the time I was talking to foreigners, so it's all mixed up accents. Sometimes I talk to people from Turkey, Indonesia. And people from USA too, Canada and UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I never realized I, I got this accent. I, I don't know how. And and I and I don't even realize when I when I stopped translating in my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really turning point. That yeah, I, that will be. Because uh, before, uh, if I if I recall last year, uh, before the pandemic. I was not even able to speak for 30 seconds. Really? Yes, I'm saying. Because when that when the COVID happened, uh we all of us, whole the whole India was shut down for three months. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we were on lockdown. So I had a really plenty of time to give uh in the in something. I thought I should improve. Uh, and first thing that came to me, it was the language that was English. So I thought uh, I have a lot of time now. So I can, you know, I can try everything because I had no teacher in the beginning. So I had to go through all the worst and the best techniques. Yeah, that makes sense. So you had to kind of teach yourself. Yeah. For the first six months, it was only by myself. Uh, just mm -hmm. watching and doing translating stops and grammar then i think okay it's enough i had enough i have to move on mm -hmm. and i tried looking for people online and i did find a uh, really good friends now we yeah. are still together we uh 
we all from different countries that is the beauty of it we got to know yeah. our culture we, we got to know different like i got to know a lot of culture from different countries the differences and and the similarities yes yeah that's really cool yeah and and what else and now now i can hold a conversation i think yeah but i i still feel like nervous in front of mostly in t- native speaker yeah well you're doing great so far you don't seem nervous oh but i'm nervous inside ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah that is i'm trying to overcome the the nervousness from inside if you if you can't even see it but i am in, from inside yeah Uh, so um are you just learning english as a hobby or do you plan to travel is it for work uh like uh i think if i had if i could if i could accomplish one language by all by myself i think i can learn more languages after that then then it is like i have i have figured out how to learn the language then i can move then i can learn more languages i'm currently learning learning thai i have a friend from thailand so i'm learning thai and cool. I'm, and i'm planning to visit her uh some day and so you want to be able to speak when you're there yes that is the reason yeah. the first thing that uh, the first uh, step of learning a language is the reason without it uh you, i can't you cannot you know you cannot stay motivated <laughs> Mm-hmm. I tried to learn a lot of languages at the same time. Yeah. But I ended up learning only English. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hard to learn more than one language at once. Because uh, I didn't necessarily see the reasons for the languages. Why would I want to learn that? Mm-hmm. The Spanish, French. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now that I got I'm trying to learn Spanish. <laughs> Spanish, I know some like como esta, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. know the basics of Spanish. Yeah, I'm trying to learn Spanish because it's useful in the United States. Yeah, I heard that there are places where uh, English and Spanish are mixed up, kind of. That, like in Orlando, where I live, um, mm-hmm. that's how it is. I have. I had a friend. He was. A, he's a teacher too on Italki, and yeah, he's from. Uh, where? Oh, I don't remember. but the place he was in the 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 people speak spanish more than english oh really yeah but you don't remember where he's from i forgot i haven't really talked to him it's been a while yeah he's a yeah there's a few his name That's is cool. his name is uh, matthew you, you can find mm-hmm. i talk to you yeah cool Yeah, there's a few places in the United States where Spanish is more popular than English, like mm-hmm. southern Florida, um in certain parts of southern Florida, um Texas in certain areas and then like southern California in certain areas. I think it's pretty common. Um but that's really cool that you're that you have friends from all over the world. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have people from different countries so that in my upcoming life I can where I can have a pe- friend from each country and i can visit them someday yeah that's really cool i love meeting people from other countries so i think that is really cool yeah that would save me some money too if they can let me <laughs> and stay with them <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah um so are you in university or are you working uh, no i'm not studying at the moment i completed my high school last year because of the pandemic i thought i i should skip this year yeah that makes sense so i will do by next year so this year i, I was just i have been just trying out myself with different things yeah Internet, to see what you like languages computer business yeah mm-hmm. do you know what you want to study at university um i think business business, business? cool that would be nice but but computer is just that i want to learn by myself mm. and music too and i feel like i want to learn everything yeah i know that feeling for sure 
I'm not really sure how to choose, how to go for only one. Yeah. Yeah, what that makes sense. Major, what are you majored in? I majored in English. I graduated. Okay, you graduated. So yeah. So do you do italki or do you have do you have another job? <clears throat> yeah, I, I well, I own my own online teaching business, and so I'm listed on italki um, to help me collect, you know, gain students and teach through italki. Um, mm -hmm. And so yeah, that's just what I've been doing is teaching private lessons and teaching through italki. Mm. And and what and what do students ask for in general? I mean, and for the lesson, do they do they want like sweet and nice conversation, or do they want to talk about for a specific topic? Uh, it depends on the student. Everyone's different. Sometimes they want me to pick the topic. Sometimes they come to the lesson and they say, "This is what I want to talk about today." Um, a lot of my students like to learn grammar and like to learn. Um, like to practice uh, reading skills and things like that as well. So I have a good mix of different um, different things with different students. Do you, how do you want the lessons to go? What are you looking for in a lesson? I'm just looking for a conversation. And that's what I did for the two months on mm -hmm. June July. And I didn't really go for any uh, like, like a grammar and grammatical thing. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for me to pick the topics we talk about, or are you hoping to pick the topics we talk about? Just, I think, in the spur of a moment, any topic. Yeah, whatever ends up happening. Yeah, I, I yeah, would, makes sense. I would want that. And and cool. the, how long has it been since you joined Italki as a teacher? Um, I joined Italki in June, I believe it was June or July. So I'm fairly new, but I have been teaching online for four years. I worked for a company based out of Israel, um, which exclusively teaches Israeli students. Mm -hmm. um, and I did that for three and a half years. Mm. And, and do you have any other Indian students? Yes, I do. I have, um, I have at least one other Indian student, maybe two. Um, and my brother's girlfriend is Indian. So I'm familiar with Indian culture a little bit because of her. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how do they sound like, I mean, Indian accent? Uh, I think an Indian accent isn't very harsh. Um, like it's not, um, it's not something that I notice so much. Like my brother's girlfriend, she is from India. She's only been in the United States for a couple of years. Um, so she has wow. an accent. Isn't yeah, it yeah. Two years to get acquainted with American accent. Uh, yeah, she still has an Indian accent, but it's not it's not um, very strong, so mm -hmm. it's very easy to understand her. She's got a little bit of an American accent at this point. Mm, okay. So it's she's kind of like half and half, like half American accent, half Indian accent. Okay. You you honestly sound um, very close to an American accent. Uh, I think I. Most of my teachers were from America, I think. Mm -hmm, so and that's some, why. Some were from uh, United Kingdom, some from Scotland and mm. London. <clears throat> yeah, because well, because I, I didn't really know what accent I was learning by myself. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I, just, I, just know, I just knew that when I talked to teachers that there are more than two accents. I used to think there is only American and British accent, but... It's not like that. There are more than that. Even in America, yeah. you have a lot of, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. There's several accents in America. Um, I have like a New York accent, a Buffalo, New York accent to be specific, um, where my A's are very sharp. And so if I say something like, um, the only word I can think of is the town in my, where I live, Lancaster, like A, A, like mm -hmm. that A is kind of whiny. Um, that's a very signature Buffalo accent. Um, and so there's a lot of different accents in my country. And, and what do you think about British accent for, I think American? they're beautiful as an American. What do you think about British accent? I think they're beautiful. I think that's such a nice accent. Can you speak? <laughs> um, I could try. So, um, I don't know if I can, hello, uh, Good, good. I would. The only thing I could say is, would you like a spot of tea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing I could say with a British accent. And they say what, what, water, something, water, what, water. Uh, yeah, water. Um, my my friend is a Canadian accent, and he says drawer, drawer <laughs> instead of drawer. 
Oh, drawer. Drawer, yeah. It took me a lot of time to get this R sound in American or, or mm-hmm. this sound. Mm-hmm. And when I found the British accent, when I started watching uh, Harry Potter, they don't yeah. really exaggerate R word. Like, mm-hmm. you just say, come here, over there, like this. Really soft. Yeah, you've got it down. Yeah, that sounded good. <laughs> because I had, I, I talked to some uh, tutors, teachers from UK. Uh, he used to speak like that. And, and one particular word was, but, but, really heavy bird. Oh, yeah. And he used to say English language, English language. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was kind wow. of what English language or language? Yeah, kind of confused. When he didn't realize it, was, he was saying English language. I pointed, yeah. pointed that out for him. You were saying <coughs> English language. Yeah. And he said that. Interesting. There are some accents in United Kingdom that they that they themselves find hard understanding. Yeah, like I would imagine a Scottish accent has got to be a little difficult to understand. Mm, then I searched online. Yeah, there are some accent which I couldn't get anything. <laughs> what are yeah. Those? But but for me, American and is really easy to understand, mm-hmm. and and the English. Uh, kind of in Harry Potter that I can understand. Harry Potter. Yeah. What what kind of accent he has? Harry Potter. He's got a British accent. British. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. I love Harry Potter. Do you like Harry Potter? I have a book. I have a novel from him. Ah, you have it right there. That's so cool. Uh, when I watched the movie, uh, <clears throat> I I, sh- I thought I should read it too. Because mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't, I don't really have a habit of reading, and I still didn't complete those Harry Potter books. I haven't finished them yet either. I've read, I've read a few of them, but I haven't read them all. And I've, I've seen all the movies a million times. Um, really? But I've been to Harry. I live right near Harry Potter World. Um, if you know what that is, do you know what Harry Potter World is? No, not really. No, it's like um, I'm gonna look up a picture and show you. It's it's like they have the castle and everything. It's really oh. cool. Okay. Like a like a Disney World. Yes, exactly. It's like Disney World, but it's universal, and so they have like Harry Potter World. Um, but what house are you? Are you Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw? <laughs> oh, that is a question. Mm, I forgot what what they were mean to. Gryffindor, Slytherin. Slytherin is like snake. Yeah. Gryffindor? What about Gryffindor? Gryffindor is Harry Potter's house. Ah, what and mm-hmm. what they were else? What else? Ravenclaw. Claw. It's like claw. It's like a bird, Ravenclaw, like a raven. Uh, what house what house are you in? I'm Hufflepuff. <laughs> what is Hufflepuff? Hufflepuff is a badger is their um, symbol and they um, they're they value kindness the most that's what each house has their own value so like Gryffindor is bravery Slytherin is like ambition Hufflepuff is kindness and then um, Ravenclaw is intelligence mm, uh, then I would like to go for a Slytherin snake Slytherin nice I like that that's cool it just sounds cool. <laughs> it does sound cool. Um, I could show you a picture of what Harry Potter world looks like, but you have to enable screen sharing because you're the host. So I can't share my screen. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I can I can have a look here. Oh, okay. Sounds good. What is it? It's called Harry Potter world. You'll have to look it up. It's pretty cool. Harry Potter world. Mm-hmm. Images. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's super cool. It's just, there's, there are places from the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. If you ever visit the United States, you should totally go there. I live right next to it and it's so cool. Really? Can, mm-hmm. can you have a look from your window? No, I wish that would be awesome. I, it's like a, a few minute drive down the road. Mm, okay. Yeah. 
But um, so if you'd like to continue with me, you can book lessons from my, um, my profile page and select conversational English lessons. And I sell um, individual lessons or I have five lesson packages. So you can do whatever um, suits your schedule. The next couple of weeks we have Christmas and New Year's. So I have a few days off, um, but I am still working every week. So you can schedule lessons for Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Sure, uh, thanks for letting me know. Because I'm, yeah, and definitely. Do you have any questions for me? Um, how would you rate my English out of 10? A scale one to 10? Um, I would probably- on, Based on today's conversation. Based on today's conversation, I would probably put you at like an eight. Oh, yeah. You, held, you yeah. held the conversation really well. You, I had, didn't hear any grammatical errors. Um, you- <clears throat> didn't um you didn't have to ask me even once to explain myself you understood everything i said and so um i would say definitely an eight and what do you think i can improve um i think your confidence um is where you where you need your improvement i think if you get more confident you practice speaking more um you'll find that you can say like um more advanced vocabulary terms yeah um and I yeah, think yeah vocabulary, I think, because vocabulary for me is like never ending thing. Yeah. One after one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> one after another, we say. One after another, yes. Yeah. And so, but you did hard. an excellent job. Yeah. Oh. Um, you did an excellent job today. Do you, uh, you don't have any questions for me, you said? Mm, uh, no. You all right. All of it. Yes. Cool. Well, if you think of any questions, feel free to send me a message and I hope I get to see you again soon. I really enjoyed our conversation. Thank you. It was really nice talking to you too. Uh, well, thank you. Bye. Bye. Yep.